Stadium, home to the Florida State Seminoles. And just listen to this crowd energy. For every Seminoles game, the war chant goes full throttle. And a rivalry like this is what makes college football great. Yeah, the tradition and the history. But right here, right now, there's great intensity. This is why these guys came to these schools to play in games like this. As we'll see the number 18 team in the country, the Clemson Tigers, taking on the winners of five straight, the Florida State Seminoles. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, here in the booth with Kirk Herbstreit. I think we've talked long enough, Kirk. Let's get this game going. It's Randall. Tackle at the 14. Not very good field position to start here. So the Clemson Tigers with less than ideal field position as they come out for their first possession. Here we go. You can feel the juice in this building. What a privilege for it to be part of this rivalry game. Well, there's nothing like rivalry games. You know, no matter what you've done all year, you get your opportunity to win this game today, and it can change everything. That's a solid game. Moves the ball out to the 28. It's early, but this crowd is fired up. Listen to this noise here. This is going to be tough for the visitors today. Picks up two, so it's second and eight. Well, Kirk, you played in rivalry games. No shortage of inspiration, but how do you manage the emotion of it all? Well, I think you need great leadership from the team. Sometimes teams don't handle the emotions of it, and the game can get sideways on you. The teams that play the best in rivalry games are the teams that have the best leaders to keep them focused on the task at hand. They're going to throw it on third and very long. And the junior gets home making a sack there. It just looked like the quarterback was holding on to the ball a bit too long that time, allowed the defense to be able to get the pressure, and they come up with a first sack of the game. And the Tigers will have to kick it away. And he's got some space here. So Florida State's offense takes the field. Our first chance to see them today. More of this game within the game, Kirk. You got the quarterback and the corner, two of the better guys in the country at their position, very aware of each other. And on the other side, you got a quarterback that has an attitude. He doesn't care. He's confident in his ability to shift and move the defense at will. It's going to be a great matchup. And it's incomplete. The defensive pressure affected his throw that time. So second down after the incompletion. Chris, we're all guilty of this. We all look at the big plays, the quarterbacks, the offense, how many points, how many yards. Sometimes we overlook the most important aspect of the game, the offensive line. You've got to do a good job consistently of protecting the quarterback, and it all comes down to the offensive line. And here, they hurry the quarterback, and they blow up the play. Incomplete. He was hit as he threw the football there on third down. The Seminoles will send their punt team on the field. So on to kick it away, helping his team with field position. Fair catch made at the 10. And the powerful Crimson offense is back out there. Last drive stalled. They were forced to punt it away. Let's see what they can come up with this time. First play of the drive, they come out throwing. Makes a quick catch. They bring him down just short of the marker, inches away from a first down. Less than a yard to go as they come to the line on second down. Play action fake, looking to throw. Looking to make a play deep downfield. That deep shot is caught for a big game. No stopping him, takes it all the way. Touchdown, Tigers. And Kirk, how important is that to get off to a positive start to draw first blood in a rivalry game like this? Well, Chris, as you know, in a rivalry game, there's so much emotion. So to be able to put a touchdown on the board first just sets the tone for a big day. So the 
They'll try to add to the lead now to the PAT. PAT makes it 7 0. Kickoff team is on the field. Let's see if they give the returner a chance to bring this one back. Fields it inside the five yard line. And he stopped at the 20. Tried to make something happen, but that's good coverage there. And the Seminoles offense comes back on the field. Last time was a quick three and out. Can they get a drive going this time? It's incomplete. He was hit as he threw. Good pass rush there on first down. Second and ten here. Dropping back into Riangala Lake. Looking to set up a screen pass here. They finally get him down, but a solid gain in that screen pass. Good call there. Drive stays alive with that first down completion. Yeah, good job with the offensive line giving his quarterback time to throw. And you can see the damage he can do to you when he does have time. A great throw and something you just kind of expect in Tallahassee. A quarterback that can make throws like this. And he pulls in the catch. Out of bounds, but not before a huge game. Offense gets a first set of downs. Good job here by the quarterback putting that ball in the air where the receiver can make a play on it. And I tell you, Florida State has had some great receivers over the years, and this kid is really living up to that. On first and ten, they'll look to throw it. Makes the catch. It's Hill. They bring him down, but an explosive play by this offense. Big game. Quarterback sees that this defense is dropping way back in zone coverage, so he does the right thing. Gets it underneath to that drag route and picks up a first down. Pre-snap motion from the receiver. Quick pass. Here comes a jet sweep. Into the end zone. Touchdown, Seminoles. Oh, just outstanding execution here by this offense. The offensive line gives the quarterback time, and the quarterback's anticipation was on point. Puts that ball right in the money. The receiver, all he had to do was turn and catch the ball for that touchdown. Kicking team on now for the extra point. And it's good. Set to kick the ball off now. Fielded in the end zone. It's Randall. He's tackled at the 17, so it would have been better to leave it in the end zone for a touchback. Okay, the Clemson offense has back out on the field. They punch it into the end zone the last time. Let's see if this defense has made some adjustments to stop him this time. Brought down, but broke a tackle to produce a solid gain there. Important second down play coming up. Running back with the football. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. That's a great play all around by this defense. Their first level defenders hold their own at the point of attack, allowing the second and third level players to roam free and make the tackle close to the line of scrimmage. And that will pick up a first down. He's spotted at 38. The Tigers hustle to the line to run the hurry up. The quarterback keeps the football. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Second down play coming up. Oh, gosh. Give this defense all the credit in the world. They had their eyes in the right position playing assignment football. Quarterback just looking for daylight. Couldn't find anywhere to go there on the keeper on the option. Again, that's great assignment football by the defense. They're backed up here, trying to make something happen on third and long. Looking to pass. It's Klubnik. Or just gives up on the play, throws it away, and now it's fourth down. And the Tigers will bring their punt team onto the field. Boy, this is all about the defense here. Nice stop here on third down, but really it's about trying to get this offense behind the sticks. Once you get them behind the sticks, you can mix up your coverages, really affect the quarterback's eyes and disrupt the timing and the rhythm of what the offense is trying to do. Now we've got another big fourth down coming up. Gonna run it. It's Williams. Defense makes the tackle with the clock running. That'll probably be the final play of this first quarter. So some early drama here. We're all even at the end of one. 
Let's take a quick pause and check out the stats from this first quarter. And as we move to the second quarter, we hope these teams will build a promising start. Offense getting set for a second down here to begin the quarter. Quarterback making adjustments down to what the defense is showing. They look to throw it here on second down. Grab near the sticks. It's Douglas. That game is good enough for a first down. Ball spotted at the 42. The defense sits back in a zone coverage. Good job here by the quarterback recognizing that soft coverage and he hits the routine drag route underneath for a first down. On first and ten, looking to throw. Makes the grab. It's Douglas. They get him down, but he crosses midfield. Spot the ball to 44. That's a nice pick up there. They find some space in the zone and pick up the first down. Yeah, really nice call here, Chris, to be able to pick up this first down on this drag route. The quarterback does a nice job of being patient, waiting for that window to open up in that zone, and he put it right on the money for the receiver to have a chance to not just catch it, but eventually get the first. The game is four, so it's second and six. We've got no surprise to get these two teams on the field, and it's tight and competitive right to the finish. Well, Chris, the last time these two teams met, remember, it came down to the wire, the very final few minutes. Sure hope we get another one like that today. And they make the stop to get the ball carrier down. Well, the back just had nowhere to go. How about the defensive line? They eat up all the blocks up front, freeing those linebackers up to be able to make the play. Just a bad play all around for this offense. Grab down the middle. It's Toa Feely. They bring him down, but not before he gains first down yardage. The Knowles come to the line to start a fresh set of downs. Well, it's a good thing they pick up the first down here because it would have been interesting to see. They were kind of in that no man's area there. If they did not pick up the first down, would they have kicked the field goal or would they have gone for it? But here, doesn't matter. Nice first down. Takes the handoff, looking to throw. Grab behind the line, it's Thomas. And he will be stuffed for no gain. Well, this is exactly what you want to see from the defense. Yeah, you give up the catch, but you're right there to be able to stop this receiver from making any yards after the catch. Cannot connect, incomplete, and now fourth down. And the coach chooses to go for a field goal attempt here. How about the call here? They go with the screen on third down and short. You don't see that called very often. They're not able to even complete the pass, so no chance at a conversion. So we got fourth and short. Snap, the hold, the kick, everything there perfect to put three points up here for the offense. Doesn't bring the kick out. Touchback. They'll start at the 25. And the powerful Clemson offense is back out there. Last possession, they were forced to kick it away. Can they finally get things going this time? Moving the receiver around pre-snap. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. We'll take a deep shot. Receiver left alone down there for a huge game. And he takes it all the way to the end zone. Touchdown, Clemson. Well, that's a well-oiled machine right there. Everyone on this offense has been a star in their roles. And when they're rolling like this, it results in quick and positive results. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. The extra point is good, so it's 14-10 now. The kickoff team on the field now is a get set to send this one away. Fields it just outside the goal line. And he'll be tackled after a solid effort on that return. 
Here's the Florida State offense on the field. Remember, it was a field goal on the last possession. Let's see what they can come up with this time. Running back has it on the screen now. He's found some room at the 45. Heads out of bounds after a solid game. More than enough to pick up a first down. After the first play, they're very close to midfield already. Well, this is great execution here on this screenplay to the running back to pick up big yards in a first down. I think in a process, Chris, they send a message to the defense. You can rush on quarterback all you want, but when you do, you better be careful because we're going to throw the screen on Quarterback changing the play now at the line. To the air. It's a young. And that one's picked off. What a play. Big takeaway. Now looking for a big return. At the 30 now. At the 10. Brings the interception all the way back. Touchdown, Tigers. For the takeaway and the touchdown, that is just a dream play for any defender, Kirk. Well, let's start with the interception. I just love the fact that he got his eyes turned around, found the football, and then has the athletic ability to be able to secure it. Then he goes back to high school running back days and shows you what he can do with the ball in his hands and takes it all the way back for a touchdown. Beautiful thing. Team out for the PAT try. The extra point is good, and they stretch the lead a little bit more. Here's the kickoff team now, set to boot this one away. And he takes this from inside the five. And they've got the returner in Corral. Florida State offense heads back onto the field. They're trying to recover from that last possession. They had things going, but then a pick six, a devastating play. They got to recover from that right now. This one is broken up and falls incomplete. But Chris, the offense takes a shot downfield, and this defender does a great job of making a play on the ball. Not only that, he tips that ball up into the air. Good chance for the defense to come up with an interception there. Caught over the middle. It's Williams. He's brought down quickly as short gain gets them a few yards closer to the marker. Shotgun formation here on third down. Looking right, this one caught. And he's brought down just short of the marker on that play. Good job by the defense to prevent the first down. Chris, great effort here by this defense to keep him short of the first down. Now they've got a tough decision to make here on this fourth down and short. He's tackled quickly, but the yardage is good enough for the first down. Boy, the defense had everybody accounted for except the running back. It, you, you can really feel the quarterback. Oh, and he breaks free. It's a foot race. At the 10 now. And he's finally forced out of bounds inside the 10. Big play to set up a first and goal. And the Seminoles hoping to punch it in here. They have first and goal. First and goal, handoff. And the freshman brings him down quickly. Well, another short game for this offense on the ground, and you got to give a lot of credit to the defense. They have really negated that aspect of this offense the entire first half and really making them one-dimensional. And if that doesn't change, I don't know how they get back into this game. Third down and goal. Big play coming up here in the red zone. To throw, it's Uyangala like. Moves left out of the pocket. It's a screen pass complete to the running back. And now a timeout quickly called by the defense as they try to get everybody on the same page here. A lot of times this can be a tough play to defend because you're so concerned with getting pressure on the quarterback. But here the defense does a good job of coming off of coverage and chasing down the receiver. Big play for both teams. Can the offense punch it in? Fourth and goal from the two. Makes the grab in the end zone. Touchdown, Knowles. Love to watch this quarterback go out and execute in this kind of situation. He's doing a great job of ignoring the scoreboard and feeling a sense of pressure to have to play with more urgency. Right now, he's executing. We're only in the second quarter. Plenty of time to get back in this game. So down by five, they'll go for two, trying to cut this to a field goal margin.
Here's the snap. Quarterback drops back. Oh, the quick throw falls incomplete. Kickoff team on the field getting set now. He's got it inside the 15. And he's tackled at the 21. That's where the drive will start. Okay, the Clemson offense has back out onto the field. This offense scores the defense with a lightning strike. A one-play touchdown in the last possession. Let's see if they can duplicate that magic here. And he's got his man open downfield. That's good for a first down near the 40. A new set of downs after that completion. First down, looking to throw the ball. Grab down the middle. It's Moore. They bring him down after a short gain there. That completion sets up a second down play. And the quarterback dropping back. Not much after the catch, but it is good enough for a first down. The Tigers come to the line to set a fresh set of downs. To throw, it's Plubnik. Short connection to the tight end here. Defense shoves him out of bounds. Not much of a gain there. Offense getting set. Second down play here. Here's the snap. Looking to throw here. That's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact. No flag. Brings up third down. Dropping back. Looking to throw for the first down. It's caught on the crossing pattern. Brought down quickly, but not before a big game. Moving to the 35. The offense will quickly spend a timeout here after the play. Sixth play of the drive coming up. Here comes a first down pass attempt. He's got an open man downfield, and it's caught. He moves the ball to the seven-yard line. Offense has a first and goal now. Well, that's a great job of working the middle of the field by this quarterback, and he picks up big yards. The offense threatening now, first and goal. Timeout is called to tuck strategy late in this close game with halftime approaching. And the Tigers looking to finish the drive here. It's first and goal. Quarterback looking to connect with the receiver here. Running out of time in the pocket. He's got it right near the end zone. Tackle at the six-yard line after the completion. Offense really threatening now. Looks like the final play of the half coming up. So a timeout is called to talk strategy. Maybe time for one or two more plays before halftime. So on second down, I'll try out the field goal unit, trying to get three before halftime. The distance will be 23 yards at chip shot. The kick is good. Offense collects three points on the drive. Well, they almost put a touchdown on the board, but instead they come away with three points. So here's the kickoff now. Offense settling for three, tacking on a little bit of momentum before the halftime break. And the kickoff goes out the back of the end zone, so a touchback. Time ticking away. Time for just one more play before halftime. Receivers now getting some new assignments before the snap. And looking to throw now on first down. He's going for a big play downfield. And it's incomplete. A last gasp pass as time expires in the first half. And that will do it for the first half here. Kevin Connors now has our halftime update. Fellas, what an environment there today. All the animosity and flat-out hatred that comes with a good old-fashioned rivalry game on display in that first half. Toughest job inside that stadium right now might just be the scoreboard operator after all those first downs and touchdowns. Big plays have to find this one thanks to two of the best receiving core in all of college football. Let's see if these defenses can adjust and make the necessary chess moves. That said, let's get back to the field and our guys in the booth to see who comes out on top of this rivalry contest. All right, Kevin, thank you for the update. The Tigers will kick this away to start the second half. He's going to return it from near the goal line. And he's tackled at the 21. That's where the drive will start. And the Seminoles offense comes back on the field. Looking downfield, it's Uyangalale. Here's a screen pass to the running back. 
a big game before he goes out of bounds. The offense keeps churning, gets a fresh set of downs. First and ten play coming up. Boy, another great throw by this quarterback to be able to pick up a first down and keep this drive alive. I think he's starting to kind of feel like he's getting into a zone. Boy, Chris, over the years, how many Florida State quarterbacks have we seen get in that zone? Guys like Chris Blankey and Jameis Winston, Charlie Ward. Had so many good signal callers that have played at FSU. That completion good for a first down. The offense working with a new set of downs here. There's the snap. They'll set up to throw. Caught over the middle. It's Toa Fili. Defense surrounds him. Just a short gain on that completion. That completion makes it second in medium. There's the snap. Looking to throw the ball. It's a quick grab. Defense makes the stop very close to a first down. They come to the line on third down, trying to keep this drive going. Can the defense get a stop here? Looking to throw it again. Caught quickly. They've got him, but that completion good enough for first down yardage. This is a big conversion by this offense. They're down now in the second half. Probably limited opportunities at this point in the game. Every chance you get your hands on the ball, you need points. They keep this drive alive right here. That's caught. It's Toa Fili. Heads out of bounds as a short gain on the play. Here's the second down play. Quarterback drops back from the shotgun. Snags the quick throw. Just trucks through the defender. That's a big game before he goes out of bounds. He can move the sticks more than enough for a first down. A running back who can take a check down like that and turn it into a game can be a quarterback's best friend. And it's easy way to rack up those touches and get the ball to your playmaker in the open field. The defender gets a hand in there to break the pass up. Chris, it's funny. I think this quarterback underestimated the athletic ability of this linebacker. He sees zone right away. He's thinking he's got some underneath windows and opportunities to get the ball to his skill guys. But this linebacker steps in front of him and makes a heck of a play. The offense was moving well, but two incompletions sets up a third and ten. Dropping back, looking to throw for the first down. Makes a quick grab. You know, it's third down as a quarterback. You're sitting there back in the pocket trying to find a matchup that you like. Pretty much everything taken away. I like his thought to get it to the running back because he's a talented, gifted player. But he just could not wiggle free to pick up the first down. Nice grab. It's Morlock. Tackle is made at the eight-yard line. It'll be first and goal right there. Boy, a risky decision here to go for it inside the red zone on fourth down, and you come up with a first down. I love that aggressive approach. Let's see if they can come up with a touchdown here to finish off this drive. And someone on the line there moved a bit early. Offense gets a five-yard penalty. Ball start. Ball start. Ball start. Ball start. Pretty easy call for the head coach. He will accept that penalty, of course. And the Knowles will line up now. It's first and goal. Dropping back. It's Wiangala Light. Little floater there, but it falls incomplete. Let's see if the offense can punch it in on second and goal. Here's the snap. Quarterback looking to throw. It's incomplete. That was caused by the defensive pressure. And now it brings up third down. Offense moving backwards here a long way from the goal line now. Now in third and very long, looking to throw. And they hit him just as he releases the ball. It's incomplete. So the decision is to not go for it, but sell for three. Here comes the field goal team. He knocks this one right through. Oh, Chris, it's a nice kick here to polish off that drive with at least three points up on the board. They come away with three points on the drive, and now the kickoff team will boot it away. And he'll lead the kickoff right there. We'll start with the 25. And the powerful Clemson offense is back out there. The last possession, they had to settle for a chip shot field goal. And they find the end zone this time out. 
You see, you're able to make the stop after a short game. Second down after that run on the previous play. Chris, you know, the spread error over the years has always grown offensively, but I've been always impressed with the defenses that really build their defense to cannot escape, and down he goes. Well, let's face it. They, they dug themselves a hole in the first half, and I'll tell you what, they're coming out with a new look and a new energy here to start the second half. Serious challenge for this offense. You don't want to be in third and long inside your own 20. How much of a risk will they take to try to pick up this first down? Running back grabs it on the screen. And the screen doesn't produce a first down. Good work by the defense. Now it's fourth down. And the Tigers will line up to kick it away. The offense gets some positive yards here, but they're going to be short of the first down marker to set up fourth down. Really good job by the defense of tackling and the awareness to keep him short of that first down mark. And here comes the Florida State offense on the field. Last time out, they moved the ball well, but had to settle for a chip shot field goal. Takes the handoff. It's Williams. And tests the middle and gets stuck. That is just not open for business today. Getting set. Here's second down. And the quarterback drops back, looking for an open man. Hit as he releases it, and the pass ball is incomplete. A tough situation for the offense. Third and long from their 25. Let's see if the defense brings some heat here. Dropping back, looking to throw for the first down. This one's going to fall incomplete. Brings up fourth down. The Seminoles bring their punt team onto the field. Oh, it looked like the quarterback had everything that he needed there. Had great protection. Receiver ran a nice route. Just not able to convert there on that third down. Let's see what their decision is on fourth down coming up. The first play of this drive now is set up at the 34. We'll try the ground game here with the running back. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Well, they run it right into a blitz, and that linebacker was coming downhill curve. Man, what a time to call that blitz here by the defensive coordinator. And you're right, he shoots right through that A-gap. Really, the back had nowhere to go. By the time he got the ball in his hands, the linebacker's right in his face. And one final play before the end of the quarter. To throw, it's Klubnik. Airing this one out toward the sideline. The catch is made for a huge pickup. More out of bounds, but it's another big game. This offense producing chunk plays through the air. Man, and with that completion right there, this quarterback now has gone over 300 yards in this game. What a day. We're set now for the fourth quarter. Who is going to make the crucial plays to take home this W? Hudson getting set with a first and 10 now. Off the play fake, looking to throw. Delivers quickly to the left side. He's got it. Finally get him way down at the two. Nice pitch and catch. And for the offense, a chance to extend the lead, but more importantly, milk the clock here late in the game. What a pitch and catch by the quarterback and receiver for a big gain for this offense. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Backed up to the five-yard line now for second and goal. And it's first and goal. You're thinking about trying to score. You're looking at positive yards, and, and he's got it. Touchdown, Clemson. Chris, this is a great play by the receiver coming up with this touchdown. But let's go back to the beginning of this play. Give the quarterback a lot of credit. He got the ball out of his hands quickly to get that receiver the football to give him a chance to put the touchdown on the board. Extra point up and good. So the lead is 12 here in the fourth quarter. Now they get set to kick it away. He's going to try for a return from a couple yards deep in the end zone. And the Florida State offense heads back onto the field. They were held to a quick three and out last time, looking to put together a positive drive here. First play of the drive, they're going to throw the football. He's a wide open receiver, complete. They bring him down, but a big chunk of yardage on the play. The Knowles come to the line looking to crank up the tempo. Well, it's another positive play, but man, look at the clock and look at the score. You still need a couple touchdowns to be able to get yourself back into this game and have a chance to win it. So you've got to keep moving here and keep taking those shots downfield. 
second down after the incompletion. They'll change the pre-snap look now. Looking to pass, it's Uyangalale. Looks downfield and finds a receiver who worked his way wide open. If we get down to the game, moves the ball into enemy territory at the 43. Chris, here we are in the fourth quarter. These guys are trailing. Had been a great day, but with this quarterback, he's as gifted as anybody in the country. You never count these guys out. And it's incomplete, even in a first down throw. He was under some heavy pressure. Throwing again on second and ten. With the catch, it's Toa Fili. The defense grabs him after the completion. He's just short of a first down. Can they convert on third down and keep this drive rolling? Looking to pick up the first down through the air. And that catch is hauled in. And they wrap him up, but the game is good enough for a first down. A new set of downs after that completion. Looking to throw again. Let's it fly out of the wide out. Oh, it's incomplete. That's a good job of the defender to break that up. Offense getting set. It's second down. And he drops back in the gun. Makes a quick catch. Man, isn't it fun to watch running backs who can add that dimension to the passing game? They're so dangerous because once they catch the football, they're operating in much more open space than they would be if they're just getting a handoff. And it really tests the linebacker's ability to cover out the space. But it's incomplete, and that will now bring up fourth down. Hey, the good news is here, Chris, they're still in field goal range, and they didn't cost themselves any points. But they could have more. Got to be thinking about going for this on fourth and short. Needs a completion here on fourth down. And the ball's incomplete for a turnover on downs. Well, down late in this football game by more than a possession. They obviously had to go for this. They just couldn't come up with the execution. They'll try and run it. Here's the running back. They bring him down, but he reaches the 30-yard line. Hey, you got to do what you got to do. You got to rely on that offensive line in the running game here to be able to secure a victory. Good call, and just keep working that clock. Quarterback still with the football. Breaks loose at the 40. And out for the first, but still going. Finally brought down to the 12. An explosive play puts him in great scoring position. The Tigers looking to use the up-tempo offense here. I can't believe the defense kept him out of the end zone. Once this quarterback gets out in the open field, he's basically like a running back. He has that kind of skill set. I thought he was going to take it to the house. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Coming to the line on second down. This is important. They want to avoid a third and long. Missed this receiver. It's incomplete. I'm not sure the quarterback makes the right decision on this one. I think if he do it over again, he would have found a different target downfield. But he made his decision. That one's incomplete. Looking for six. And it's caught. Touchdown, Tigers. And momentum really building. Now, Kirk, this one could get out of hand here in a hurry. And that's the last thing you want to do in a rivalry game. Not just lose the game, but get embarrassed. Man, you got to fight for 60 minutes. Extra point up and good. A 19-point lead now here in the final quarter. Now the kickoff team is out on the field. They'll return it from inside the five. Solid job by the coverage team. They bring him down at the 16. And the Seminoles offense comes back on the field. The last time they went for it on fourth down, didn't get it, and it ended up costing them six points. And they bounce back here. That's caught. It's Toa Fili. Gets past the tackler into open space now. Heads out of bounds after a solid game. More than enough to pick up a first down. First down play call coming up. How aggressive will it be? And the quarterback looking to make a play through the air. Pulls it in. It's Toa Fili. And a big game before he goes out of bounds. The offense keeps churning. Gets a fresh set of downs. Fresh set of downs for the offense after that first down completion. Quarterback pre-snap adjustments now for this defense. Looking to throw. It's Uyangalalai. The ball is caught. That's a big game before he goes out of bounds. It'll move the sticks more than enough for a first down. And the Seminoles line up on first and ten now. Oh. 
There's the snap. Quarterback setting up the throw. With the catch, it's Williams. Heads out of bounds after a solid game. More than enough to pick up a first down. And the Knowles are in the red zone. You talk about a dream football game at the college level. This guy's now over 400 yards passing today. From inside the red zone, they're looking to throw. Escapes the pocket, but cannot make a play, and they sack him. The offense will try to recover now at second and 12. Chris, I'm really surprised by the way this game has turned out. That's another sack by this defense. They've done... Catch made in the end zone. Touchdown, Florida State. And now the try for the two-point conversion. Quarterback drops back. Intercepted in the end zone. Kickoff team has come on the field now to send this one away. He's going to bring this out a few yards deep in the end zone. Tackle at the 12. The coach wishes he left that one in the end zone. Okay, the Clemson offense heads back out onto the field. In that last touchdown drive, they just pounded away with the running game. Let's see if they can do it again. In the first play of the drive now, they're backed up at the 12-yard line. The pre-snap motion from the offense. A pop pass on the jet sweep. There's a loss after the completion. That's a good play by the defense. And this crowd coming to life here trying to help the defense get a stop for the offense pinned back. And, of course, they'll work the clock here, keep it on the ground. Fights off a defender. Man heads out of bounds after a decent game. Solid gain on the running play. Third down now. Well, this is a huge third down coming up here, and here's where that chess match comes to head. And for the defense, they desperately need to make a play if they believe they have any chance of coming back to win this game. And the Tigers will have to punt this one away. Well, they go to the air to try to pick up this first down, but it just wasn't meant to be. Defense was ready, made sure to force them into this fourth down situation. Now he's got a crease here. Look out. Good effort by the return man. They get him down, but that's a solid gain on the return. Forced down here. The offense has time for one more play before the two-minute warning. Back to pass. It's Uyunglele. Pass not complete, but there was a lot of contact there, and here comes a late flag. Pass in the Defense. Defense. Man, playing defensive back has got to be the toughest job out there right now in college football. You get isolated on islands against these freaky, talented receivers. It's hard enough to be able to stay up with them and try to make a play on the ball, and often you end up bumping them downfield and you get a call like this. Finding space at the 20. And a big game before he goes out of bounds. The offense keeps churning, gets a fresh set of downs. Aggressively again on first and 10. Quarterback making some changes at the line. On first and ten here, looking to throw the ball. The sure hands, it's Toa Feely. And a nice first down game there. They get him down, but very close to the first down marker. Quarterback wants to throw it on second down. He'll try a pass here. And the pass is intercepted as he throws into double coverage that time. Boy, would this quarterback love to have this one back. They're trying to work themselves back into this game here in the second half. And the defense comes up with a big turnover that could be the nail in the coffin. And the powerful Clemson offense is back out there. They're looking to build on the lead. They had to punt the football in their last possession. Looking for some space. It's Maffa. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Kind of called by the defense their first of the half as they try to make some adjustments here. Same tailback, another carry. And they'll tackle him about the 23-yard line. And now a timeout taken by the defense trying to preserve as much clock as possible for their offense. So the offense getting set. This is not where you want to be against this defense. Third and long. 
Doesn't hold on. Good hit by the DB. Now it brings up fourth down. The Tigers will line up to punt it away. And the returner will be brought down. First play of the drive now coming up from the 29. Quarterback adjusting now to the defense. Looking to throw it on first down. The sure hands. It's Toa Feely. They bring down the receiver, but that's a nice gain on that play. The clock is still running. They've got to get set quickly. Quarterback looking to throw it on second down. Pass ball is incomplete. There was a lot of contact. No penalty except third down. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. It's a quick grab. That's a big game before he goes out of bounds. It'll move the sticks more than enough for a first down. The Seminoles have first and ten here. To the air. It's Uyangala like. Avoiding the pressure. Moving out to the right. And it's complete. What a grab by the receiver right here the sideline. His line getting set up. It's a first down play. Here we go. Squirrel, squirrel, acorn, acorn. Lugger, lugger. Here's the snap looking to throw. Fires it to the wideout. That's the third pick tonight thrown by this QB. And he's got some open field ahead. It's a big return off the INT. They steal their offensive possession. So the job is simple here. Just take a knee, run out the clock, and begin the celebration. Boy, the offense just could not afford to throw this interception. It's already a two-possession game. By throwing this pick, now you wonder how many more opportunities will you get. Really, everyone on both sides remember for a long time, for it stings to fall short to your arch rival. Yeah, rivalries are always the ones that hurt the most. You have that game circled on your calendar every year. Some guys, they have a clock counting down to these kind of games, and to go through all that anticipation and fall short, it's always tough. And that is going to wrap it up. We enjoyed this one here. For Kirk Herb Street, I'm Chris Fowler, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.